you doing? How dare you touch me? You behave responsibly during the day and suddenly you want to behave responsible at night. Please. I have been working all day and I am tired. So respect yourself. Respect Mira, yourself. Mirabel, what have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? You broke your promise to cater to my every need. That's what you've done. I lost my job. But before that, I did everything for you as promised. And it's not like you lack anything. You end quite well. So why have you decided to be so mean to me? Why? You are hell-bent on disturbing my sleep tonight, but I won't let you. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, sorry, sorry for keeping... So what have I done this time? You keep doing this and this time I'll give you back in the same measure. She keeps dredging up old arguments. Her arguments are so incessant that we we'll keep fighting about the same topic over and over again. Look, I'm tired. George, is this how you intend to sell marriage to your single friends? You think this is how it was sold to me? What is really happening? I mean, I thought you both were the perfect match. Yeah. Tom and Jerry, if you mean that kind of perfect match, yes. Listen, have you ever endured so Never mind. No, no. I, I do mind. I mind. Truth is, I can backdate this abrupt bitterness. So when I lost my job. Can't you get useful around the house? Since making money is so far-fetched. Me, I always reiterate the fact that you can channel that energy in the kitchen or the laundry room. But the last time I checked, I am neither the cook nor the housemaid. <laughs> Says the broke-ass husband. Mirabel, do you have to keep saying that every time you have to say something? Uh, and do you mind not always sounding like a daft every time you try to justify what I cannot understand? I mean, you can't afford a cook or a maid, so why can't you humble yourself and get the job done? Oh, if I say two more words now, they'll say I'm the nagging wife. So you were saying that your wife is just two words away from being a nagging wife. It's really amazing how you find the joke out of this. John, John, just chill, okay? Relax. Look at the bright side. Well, I seem to have missed the bright side of this. You just take it easy, you know? Take it easy. Calm down. You know what, uh, it's always very easy for you to be advising me right now. <laughs> Left to me, I love easy. I wouldn't want to be you right now. I'm ready to leave. You ready? All right. Doesn't learn from experience. You don't understand. Just like you don't get it. She is so beautiful. She's beautiful, pleasing to my eyes. I can't even stand the thought of her getting on with another man. I can't picture it. I don't even want to imagine it. And then comes marriage, right? <laughs> you know what, bro? It's official that you're a fool. Oh yeah, beginning to sound like a broken record. This record is broken already. I'm only trying to prevent a friend from experiencing a similar fate. Mirabel flipped out on me like a freaking rolling dice. I'm pretty sure the only reason she hasn't run off with some sugar daddy is because of this ring. That is a very mean thing to say. The truth is mean.
Jordan, should I be worried? I mean, do I have to get a 24 hour surveillance on you to prevent any tragedy? That's the last portion. Listen, I can't be the one to make the money and still be the one to starve, okay? If you like food so much, go and start making money again. Excuse me. doing this? Why have you filled your heart with so much contempt and resentment? Mirabel, you know how much I love you. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. But I'm sorry that things turned out this way. Yes. I made promises. But maybe you relied so much on those promises. I mean, you're quite aware of my financial status. And also the fact that it is only momentary. It would be better you left than met out this perpetual abuse on someone who is supposedly your spouse. And what could that be? Communication. Open communication. I mean, no problem has ever been resolved or disagreement brushed when people refuse to communicate. And you know what? Maybe if you start talking, I would know what my limits are and what I'm supposed to do and how I'm supposed to help. You can't help me, Jordan. Then you maybe can't. you are the one who needs fixing because I am sick and tired. You need help, Mirabel. You need to see a therapist. Like, your, your mentality is badly skewed. Wait, is that to say I'm mad? Jordan, it is you and your entire family that are mad people! You deceived me and now you are playing the victim! I hate you, Jordan! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you!
Hey, pretty. Hi, Brenda. Hi. What happened? Where's the sparkle in your voice? Jordan stole it. You guys are at it again. It seems to be your favorite thing now. We're not playing, Brenda. Jordan gets disgusting every day. Hey, 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 hush it. That's not the best way to describe your husband. Listen, I'm not about to sugarcoat anything. Well, I was in your neighborhood to see a sick friend, so I thought I'd you know, stop by and chit chat with you before going back to the hyper kids. But right now, I think there'll be a lot more fun than you. Meaning you're not coming anymore? Yes, dear, I'm not. You seem to have a lot on your plate right now. And that vibe buzzing around you? Nah, it's not for me. So I'll pass. I don't get affected. Okay? Hmm. Is this that that abandons you when you need her? Yeah, yeah, call it whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Blackmail doesn't leave here, says. All right, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Since you asked me to leave, there you have it. Thank you very much for the months of pain. But Mirabel, I never said you should leave. I'm not surprised that amnesia is among your long list of incapabilities. Look, I only said it's better than abuse. I didn't say you should leave the house. The man I married was super rich and had a mouthful of promises. Where is he now? Hmm? Yeah, I thought so. Can't find him either. Excuse me. Shut your door. Can you imagine that? Wait, she what? Moved out. You heard me, I moved out. He is becoming so overbearing. He called you. Why, why is he rewriting his story in hindsight? Why does he feel compelled to represent himself as the victim? Victim? Yes, I am the victim here. She told her sister a story that is skewed in some way, obscuring the real happenings in our marriage. When in reality... Lord knows I am tired of this man. He is really... Choking me. She's got all this baggage bottled on within her. And she would never let go. She keep making it look like I I'm the bad person in this relationship. And whenever I try to talk to her, to see how we could address the misunderstanding, she goes like this. Hey! I'm not going to talk about this. Calm down. Just calm down. You know what? I'm done. Joe, it's okay. It's okay. Alright? But all this is on you. Because you went into this relationship with money. You made it all about the money. You were proud and loud-mouthed. You didn't even discuss with her, let her understand your source of income. So you can't blame her for how she thought about you or what she thought about you. I don't even get it. Wait, I need to ask you a question. What were you thinking of? What, what, what was going through your mind? You were feeling like what? Like, like Dangote, the money man, Mayweather, you got the money, you got, you got to show off the money. You messed up, my G. Bro, you messed up and you got to own that. She apparently married you because of a mindset she had. And then you lose your job, lose your investment. She couldn't figure out how all this disappeared overnight. Guy, I'm not trying to justify what she has done, but I'm saying it's what it is, man. There's no need to remind me of my woes. Well, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't invent this thing of the truth. You know what, let's just let's forget all this, man. Let's get over this. I was invited for an art exhibition, and I think you should really come. I want you to meet someone there. All right. Good morning, my love.
Brenda, I'm so sorry I took long. Yeah, I was gonna call you again. I came as soon as I got your message. I didn't want to come in because I don't want Mirabel to delay me for my meeting. Oh, Mirabel. Yeah, she's very chatty. Especially with you. So tell me, what's going on? You look troubled. I'm troubled. I am seriously troubled, thanks to you and my sister. Oh. Uh, um, I'm sorry that we bought you right now. Truth is, I'll be lying to you if I said everything was well. Because I really don't know anymore. I feel like our marriage is wrecked already. What's going on? Do you really want to know? Yes, please tell me. <sighs> when I proposed to Mirabel and convinced her to marry me, I loved her so much. So much that I felt compelled to give her further assurance. And so I promised her that she wouldn't have to lift up a finger in her whole life. That everything would be at her beck and call. I promised her I was going to lavish her with the latest cars and a very luxury life. And of course, yes, I could make all that happen. I mean, my investment was premium and my returns as an oil expert in an international dredging company could do all that. But then, Life happened, and I lost everything in a week, just like the haunted in Hollywood films. Wow. I know Mirabel and my sister can be, you know, materialistic, but now I see it was the foundation of your marriage. But permit me to ask, are you really sure that love truly was part of this deal. A valued proposition to them is that we've been doing this for almost 30 years. Probably longer than they've discovered oil and gas in that their country. <laughs> Besides, we also have uh, brownfield operations competencies. Eh? And pardon me if I'm wrong, I doubt there's any firm set up there that can boast similar competencies. I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. And I am ecstatic about the opportunities that are beginning to beckon. Good. You, in Nigeria, have a toehold on the Angola oil and gas industry. <laughs> Nowadays, my boy, we make our money work for us. But besides, I also have very fantastic partners. But now I need someone I can trust to represent my stake over there. Someone who helped me build this brand rapidly. Not a Mickey Mouse brand but a global brand that will represent a symbol of center of excellence in oil and gas, right? I need someone like that. That right there is where my friend comes in, Jordan. Jordan has significant experiences when it comes to setup and rollout. He also has successful stories to support this. The only thing is that he hit, uh, hit the rough patch recently and he would really do well with this kind of opportunity. Wait, that's Jordan, the former CEO of uh, Felage Petroleum, right? Yes. That's your friend now, the one that uh, 
uh, was like an oil and gas god in the days. And the guy who Absolutely. put you through school, Absolutely. who paid for your masters and your certifications Absolutely. abroad. <laughs> Jordan, that guy was a god. Eh? I wonder what happened to him. Hmm. He was doing that um, Ogini oil saga. Yeah. Um, everything went down start from that time because his company, which is a servicing contractor to the big IOCs, had to take the fall for the whole situation. You know, the logic behind it was let the small boys take the fall while the big ones remain there. Yeah, it's um, it's been tough on him. But above all, he was reputable. He fell on the sword and sank with that ship faithfully, diligently. But there was no compensation. There was no golden handshake. There was nothing. They, they, they just acted like he never existed. And since then, he's, it's been hard for him. You know, he, there's no one for him to turn to. And here I am. I can't even help him. I, I, I feel like a letdown. Hmm. Such a sad story. Well, guess. I know that you're his friend, you're a good friend. You would have been able to help him if you had the resources and power. So. Oh, yes, absolutely. Hmm. But let's see what we can do. You know what? Let's engage this young man. I'd like to have a chat with him, then see where he goes from there, you know? Oh, that's, that's great. That's fantastic. In fact, he is coming with me for Dakori's art exhibition. That's good. Fantastic. That's nice. So I'll sure ensure that we have that chat then, eh? Okay. Okay. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs>
No, I don't. You tell me. Because I'm also wondering how a woman will have such an amazing husband and be too blind to see it. Amazing is relative. This one lied to me. Lied to you about what exactly? That he's going to take care of you and he doesn't have the means to please you right now? Is that the lie? <laughs> Look, Minerval, I've always known you to be a naughty and silly child. But I told you left her at home before you got married. Are you, are you aware that Namdi, my husband, was broke, I mean totally down and out, when I married him? Ah, uh, well, at least he didn't make life miserable for you. Look, Mirabel, if you don't love him, leave him. It's that simple. Marriage is not a do or die affair. And if there's any streak of chance that you love him, then do right by him. The children I know deserves better. You know what? If I had known this would be the order of the day, probably would have done something better. Oh no, you won't disrespect me, Mirabel. You won't. One more silly word from you, I'll squeak your nose from here. I thought so too. I see this gallery is pretty. It's really pretty. You can say that again. So what fascinates you about art? Well, I um, I think I just like things with lots of colors. <laughs> Colors is really mm -hmm. deep. People mm. see colors differently. Good point. Yes. So, how about you? What inspires you as an artist? Nature. Nature. Humans. I think I just have a creative head. Mm. So, how long have you been an artist? Since I was a child, I went on to study fine and applied arts in the university. Did my master's in London School of Art. Wow. I can tell that you're really good at what you do then. I try. So how much are these paintings worth? Depends on who's buying. So... Like that one, it's what 1.2 million naira. And the other one, 1.5 million naira. But like I said, it depends on the buyer. The value paid on an art is the value you get. But that's quite expensive, I must say. So you say. Can I make a preposition to you? Okay. Two million naira to be my muse. Sorry, uh, how do you mean? I'd like to paint you. Hell yeah. Nude. Hey, Jordan. Excuse me. Um, hey. When you're done, I want to use the bathroom. I'll meet you by the car. I'll meet you by the car. All right, man. Think about it. Excuse me. So, this painting here is what you should get. Make sure you get it. So, these are all petals. Very floral and very colorful. It's beautiful to look at. So how did the conversation go? Uh, no concrete feedback. But I believe he's going to try to reach you. Why? But by the way, who is Dakori to him? Is he her boss? Boss? No, no. <laughs> Dakori is a big girl. She is a big, in fact, babe. But I heard your childhood friend. Moreover, I'm sure he has spoken to her about you before we got here. They're that close. Oh. Wait, wait, what happened? This is kind of weird. Oh yeah, my career is kind of weird. <laughs> oh,
Hey, Jay for Jordan. Hello, bro. What's up? What's going on, man? Any feedbacks? I mean, from Mr. Nuhu. Right. I was going to call you. Okay. So, good news. He has agreed to bring you in as a partner with 1.5 million euro security investment. One point. How am I supposed to get that kind of money? Okay, I'm willing to give you 700,000 and you just have to look for 800,000. You can ask your wife for that now. My wife? Same woman who has been starving me? You just want to give me food? Uh, okay, well, let me, let me call you. I'll call you back, okay? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that it's you... It's okay. <laughs> now I see how you paint me as the devil. Look, I... Uh... I didn't mean it like that. Uh, but you implied it! You know what? I choose to take a rain check on this. Jordan, I'm talking to you. Yes! Run! Run! Shameless man! Run like the shameless man you are! Rubbish! Run and go and shamelessly tell the next person about your wife, the devil! Run! Keep running! Rubbish! Aha! Just the man I was waiting for. Hi, Dr. Ray. Hmm. My instinct tells me that my muse has finally taken my offer. Well, your instinct is quite brilliant. Take a good look at this. This is what we are trying to achieve. What do you think? Okay, so what do I need to get you in the mood? Anything at all? Anything? I'll fix it. <laughs> Don't worry, relax, take a deep breath. It's not a firing squad, you know. <laughs> Do you mind taking off your top? I mean, I want to see what I'll be working with. Hey, I don't bite. I can actually take off mine if it will make you relax, okay? It's not such a big deal. Hey, go on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're going to be stuck naked in front of me, so you might as well. You know. Um. Good boy. What are you doing, Jordan? Excuse me? Don't pretend with me. I saw her drop you off. Who is she? Since when do you care? Huh? I hope that will be your response when men start dropping me off.
Thank you. No, I should be the one saying thank you. I actually enjoyed painting you. You're my favorite. You have it in you. I must say, I could do this over and over again. Here for a drink? I'm fine, I'm alright. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. We'll grab a bite. Thank you again. So, when last did you have sex? With who? With Zeus, the Greek god. Mm, since that's who you're married to. Why are you like this? You're always just giving like... I'm just asking, so I don't have to directly ask you when you plan to start having kids. Okay, now you sound like mom. Well, if mom were to be here, she wouldn't be this nice. Oh, so this is nice. Well then, I must show gratitude. Thank you. Look, just cut this whole tear tricks. Answer me. Listen, sex or kids is the least of our worries right now, okay? Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <He's cute. laughs> you know, I laugh at you in French. Like, seriously, God, I need to get water because you're about to choke me and I won't let that happen. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not any of your worries, right? Okay. Mm. <laughs> ah. Oh, my man. What's up, what's up? I never saw you something, bro. That's it. What's up, bro? Two million naira. Boy, this is this is snow in summer. Mm -hmm. Two. Dakori. What am I missing? Long story, bro. Long, long story. Jordan, is, is this what I am thinking it is? You know, regardless of how this has come to, mm -hmm. okay, we need to set drinks on you. Oh, you know, now, now that sounds familiar. I, I remember the time I used to do this all the time, you know? <laughs> you married, all right, all right. <clears throat> Shall we? Yo, two M. So what exactly is the problem? <laughs> Jordan. Which responsible man gets dropped off by a woman at home every night? Tell me! Tell me! Well, this man here is irresponsible. Have you forgotten? Or, or do you have amnesia too? Hmm. Jordan. Jordan. When I start my own, don't complain, no. Don't complain. Alright. 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 So I should go and frolic with men, Abby. <sighs> Listen, Mirabel, I do not need this right now. So you better go back to your room and let me rest, okay? I see what you did. You are going out, sleeping with us, and you want me to go and sleep with men so we can be even, right? You are a shameless man, Jordan. You are a shameless man. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you have to go and get more because you didn't get enough of me. You can never get enough. Shameless man. Idiot.
Hello, Dakore. Do you think it's a good time for me to know your place? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm at the bus stop. All right. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Have a seat. Um, wine, whiskey, cognac. Cognac would be fine. something more comfortable while you help yourself. Feel free. Okay, you want to watch TV, the remote's there. Whatever you need, just such yourself up. I'll be right back. We can talk about it. I'm counting on it. <sighs> wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You paid me two million naira to paint my nude. Only for you to hang it on the wall in your bedroom? Yes. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm not a psycho. Then help me understand. <laughs> I first set eyes on you in Belco in Leon. Third May. 
2015. It was love at first sight. I couldn't take my eyes off you. I just wish you could notice me. But that was not the case. You never failed me to even approach you. You were also in Belku then? I didn't know you were Nigerian. I felt so disgusted with myself for not having the guts to approach you. I had to live with dreaming about you. Day and night. Night and day. Day and night again. <laughs> and then last year, I saw you in a fashion magazine. The whole world lit up. It was a sign. I decided to check you out on Instagram. I found out that you were recently married. And my world came crashing down. You're kidding, right? I wish. And last month. Just last month. There you were, in my space, in my corner. I mean, <laughs> that was a sign. That was definitely divine. I knew that the universe was speaking to me and I had to make a move. Here we are. Hey, I am not crazy. I may not know what I am right now, but I'm not crazy. I know Why? Dakori. Why? I'm sorry. Should be. All you had to say was hi. And our lives would have been a fairy tale. I know. This is one regret that I had to make. What? You made this food? Mm-hmm. Wow. I never knew you were such a great cook. Thank you. Eat your food. Thank you for the best days of my life. And thank you for such an amazing meal. <laughs> thank you. <coughs> You're making hey. me joke. It's okay. Just... <laughs> Maybe this will help. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Thank you for such a memorable night. 
Thank you for coming. <laughs> this is the very first of many successes to come. <laughs> I believe so. I believe so. I applaud your impeccable brilliance. I'm very happy you're my team, Jordan. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I feel very honored to be given this opportunity. And I do believe that I'm a man who is very hungry for success. Woo! Jordan. Thank you, sir. I feel your passion. It's so hard it burns. Ooh! <laughs> this is exactly what I need on my team, eh? Anyways, excuse me, gentlemen. I take my leave now. See you tomorrow, yeah? Thank you so much, sir. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. My passion, man. See you guys tomorrow, yeah? All right, sir. <laughs> hey, the man of passion. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> What's up? Oh, come on. There's no need to bother yourself. I've booked a cab already. So I'll see you in a moment, okay? <laughs> All right.
look into your eyes, I see the fires of love. When I hear your voice, I hear the sound of love. You're all that I yearn for, you're all that I dream of, you're all that I need in my life. Stop, I'm serious. Like, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was so much fun. I told you that Nigerian movies had taught me much. True. It was really amazing. I was yes. glued throughout. Quite entertaining. I'm glad you liked it. And. I'm equally glad I got to watch it with you. I have to go now. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? You need breakfast. Sorry I overslept. I didn't know it was morning already. It's okay. Why don't you go and have a bath? I'll serve breakfast. All right, darling. <laughs>
looks like someone is in love. I mean, I'm falling in love with Dakori, but I'm still legally married to Mirabel. What's gonna happen now? Are you gonna divorce, move on with Dakori? Uh, I mean, you and Mirabel are. You're not even two years. Uh, separation first. I mean, I can't spend the rest of my life with someone who treats me like this, who berates me. This is not good. So tell me, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Hmm? In your shoes? Mm -hmm. No. I'm not interested. Oh, so you see now. Chicago. Who? Mirabel. For what? She was worried about you. And you believe that poppycock? She was in tears. <laughs> oh, come on, she's ever the actress. But she admits that she did you bad and she can't take it back. But she wants to do better. Are you kidding me right now? No, I don't believe this. I actually think this proposal is better because using PowerPoint, you're able to truly establish the pictorial um, designs, what you I, really I want. I would suggest that we pull off this part. Mirabel, what are you doing here? Who, who let you in? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, please come back home. <laughs> No, please don't tell me to calm down. The silence is deafening. What's wrong? Are you sad? No, I'm not. You don't want to talk about it. That's fine. I had no reason to be who I was. I, I can't even explain it. And you know, she's even way prettier and richer than I am. Way prettier and richer. Just listen to yourself talk. Should that be your concern right now? Or shouldn't you be thinking of how to right your wrongs? I want him back. I want to be a better person for him. Well, I hate to say this, but I told you so. But you wouldn't listen. I warned you. She just got saved. 
I love him, Brenda. Can't you help me? Well, to be honest, I don't know a man that can stay with a woman like you. Mm -mm. I promise I'll be better. I swear I'll do better. I just, I miss him so much. I promise I'll do better. I pr I, oh. It's okay. You'll be fine. you too. So much. I don't think it's enough. I see you're back. I, I was just being spoiled and silly. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know what came over me. I just, I just felt like I, I don't know. Mirabel, what is this really all about? Huh? I, I want to be a wife. In all honesty, I don't know the first thing about being a wife, but I'm willing to learn and love you right. How? I mean, where do we start from? I gave you my heart, but you took it and you wrecked it. The only reason that I stayed is because I didn't have anything and I had nowhere else to go. But now that I have a choice, you're now giving me this I'm way too smart for this. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have a lot on my mind. What are you thinking about? About us? Our future? This heaven, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so whatever you need to do. Well, um... Let's do whatever it is you want to do. Okay, I have like one million things that I want to do, so... <sighs> I guess I'll have to excuse you soon.
me about why are you trying so hard to embarrass me? And in the same process, you're embarrassing yourself. Do you know that? and pain can say it again and again show me love and care but we're still blind to see it I really don't deserve it I don't deserve I it I wish you were the sun you were the sun so you could melt my heart I see the pain I'm going through I wish you were the I wish you were the moon so you could light the darkest part of me and seem so lonely. If you were the sea, I would find you. I am alive without you. You are my own. You are my joy, my everything, my light. You are my own. You are my joy, my everything. It's crazy all the things that happen between us, oh yeah Lots of hurts and pain can say it again and again. Show me love and care, but we're still blind to see it. I really don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I wish you were the sun. You were the sun. You could... I don't deserve him. Well, if he really loves you, that won't matter. And the camel have to go through the eye of the needle first. Don't be pessimistic, right? So I, I think that the best way to capture the interest of other African countries is understanding their culture first and the significant aspect of that to them. Hmm. Culture is a very crucial matter for African countries. So the best way to go about this is to conduct an in-depth research before we proceed. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. And while at it, we shouldn't forget our global mission. <laughs> Absolutely. Mission is key. Mission is very key. Jordan? Jordan! Jordan, are you okay? Yeah, um, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's just going through some domestic issues. How did it go? It was a disaster.
absent-minded again. Don't worry. I'll talk to Nuhu. I love her. know what to do. I have tried to deny it. I have tried to block it out. But I truly do love her. I can't just walk away from her now that she's trying to make amends. Please go. Leave. Just leave. I am so sorry. Sorry. Can you just leave? Ever since I met you, it's been nothing but love, true love, and I showed it with 
expensive gifts, my wealth. But I'd only succeeded in masking my true feelings. you walk down the aisle. I promise never to do that ever with anyone else. And when I said for better, for worse, I meant it. When I told you that I loved you. I meant forever. <laughs> I wonder what I did to get a man like you. Except I don't deserve you at all. <laughs> your kindness, your compassion, and your love just <laughs> make you miss me. <laughs> Mirabel, promise me that you are going to be my wife. No matter what it is that comes my way, our way. I promise. I wish you had a son so you could melt my heart and see the pain I'm going through. I wish you had a moon. So you could light the darkest part of me and see I'm so lonely. And if you had to see, I would drown with you. I have no life without you. You are my all, my joy, my everything, my life. You are my all, my joy, my everything, my life. I wish you had the sun so you could melt my heart and see the pain I'm going through. I wish you had the moon. So you could light the darkest part of me and see